Hey guys, well guess what? It is fall and the weather is changing and gigs outside are starting to get colder and guess what that means? That's right. I've got two gigs coming up this weekend at the fairgrounds. They're both outside and this morning I woke up with a tickle in my throat and a runny nose. It is cold season already and quite honestly there's other things out there too. So today we're going to talk about what to do when you're not feeling at your best, but you've got a gig coming up. This is Al's Drum Hang. Okay, just like any other time, I'm going to talk about health or body or anything like that. I've got a few disclaimers and let's get this straight right off the bat. I am not a healthcare professional. I have a lot of experience taking care of myself and I know what works best for me. But everything I am going to tell you today is just my experience and nothing more. It is not intended to be or replace healthcare advice from, from a professional caregiver. Okay? Anything you do based on this advice is pretty much at your own risk. Also, I'm going to be talking about communicable diseases and respiratory diseases and given things that have happened in the last few years, you may have your opinions on those and that's fine. And I'm not here to preach to you one way or the other what you should or shouldn't do. Also, if you're feeling sick and you don't know why, always check with your doctor. Here it is. It's a day before my gig and I'm not feeling that great. I've got a little bit of rasp in my throat you can hear and that's because my sinuses have been dripping all day. I'm stuffed up, I feel a little tired, my eyes are a little fuzzy, everything is not fun right now. So what am I gonna do? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is amp up my self-care. And what does that mean? I'm gonna be drinking a lot of fluids, way more than normal, but real fluids like water and juice. I am not going to drink a lot of caffeinated drinks like soda, coffee, or heavily caffeinated tea because those are diuretics and I'll actually dehydrate. I'm also not going to drink alcohol, do drugs, or smoke because those things, number one, they're bad for your health, uh, and number two, they dehydrate you. I need to be eating well, not junk, a lot of junk food. I need to be eating stuff that is going to amp up my metabolism. I prefer spicy food when I'm sick, not just to amp up my metabolism, but also to help unblock my sinuses. I'm gonna try and get some good sleep tonight, a lot of good sleep, because that's the body's way of repairing itself. If you're into over-the-counter medication, go for it. You can check out uh, over-the-counter decongestant. You can check out something like Benadryl, and that has the side effect of helping you to sleep. And of course, a non-habit forming nasal spray. I use Flonase or an equivalent. There's also a lot of home remedies. You know, I use a Vapo Rub or a Tiger Balm on my forehead and around my sinuses just to unblock things and for some pain and congestion relief. Cough syrup, cough drops, any of that stuff. Steam, humidifiers, hot showers cold cloths on your forehead. If there's something your mom always did that worked to make you feel better, go for it. Next thing I've got to ask, and I'm asking myself this continually, is am I going to be well enough to play the gig tomorrow? And there's a few things that will just be an automatic no for me. But there's a lot of times I'm like, I can probably do this. If it's just going to be like this, a head cold, I know I can get through. I'm going to be congested. I'm going to need to drink a lot of fluids and stuff. And I'll talk about what to do on the gig if you're not 100% in a little bit. But if it's more serious than that, the flu, or in this day and age, COVID, no, heck no, I'm not going to the gig. Uh, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm probably in bed, unable to move. Even if I don't know whether it's flu or COVID, uh, if I've got really severe aches, pains, chills, shakes, sweats, that's going to make me say probably not because that's a lot more serious. Usually it is something like the flu. If I am vomiting or I have the runs, that could knock me out. 
I've done it, but it's really unpleasant. Now, sometimes you're just starting to get sick or you're just done from getting sick and you're a little bit weak, a little bit exhausted. You've got to make your own judgment call on that. Maybe you have the gut check and you can pull through. Maybe you don't want to chance it. That is entirely up to you. I'm not going to advise you one way or the other. I tend to think people know themselves best. Let's say I'm feeling just like this tomorrow and it's time to go to the gig. What am I going to do? Again, I am going to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I'm going to stay hydrated, especially on Saturday because it's supposed to be hot. Uh, decongestants and other cold medicines have a dehydrating effect. I've got to hydrate to counteract that. No alcohol at all. I need to be really uh, breathing and just taking it easy as much as I can, not stressing out about it. I need to dress in layers. So if I do get a little chilly or a little hot, I can adjust. If I'm sneezing, runny nose, coughing, anything like that, I've got to stay away from people. If you are in a tight bar and all the band members are just right up next to each other, I don't know if you're going to want to do that. Now, if it's an outdoor gig like this festival I'm doing over the weekend, you're probably going to be okay. If you're indoors, consider wearing a mask. It's not going to help you that much and sneezing inside a mask is terrible, but it will prevent you from spraying that sick all over other people. It's another people thing, not a you thing. Make sure to wash your hands frequently, especially if you've been touching your face. And maybe you want to bring along a little bottle of hand sanitizer just in case. If you got some of that medicine, bring it along with you. Maybe also like a handkerchief or a hand towel and some wet wipes in case you have a really grody sneeze and you've got to clean up. At this point, let's talk about what you might have to do if you're just too sick to go. What do you do? Well, there's some options. Maybe you cancel personally and you can line up a sub. This is, again, this is totally dependent on your situation. Does somebody else know the material you guys do and can step in or at least sight read through it? Or an alternative might be that your band kind of does an acoustic drummerless set. I've done this before as well. Could be that the band just decides, you know what, we are going to not play ourselves, but they may decide to sub in another band for you. And this is usually good if like two or three members of your band get sick all at once. And last but not least, maybe the whole band cancels. Again, this is dependent on your playing situation and what's going on with you and how capable everybody is of carrying on the gig. And I understand in some towns, in some music markets, Canceling one gig could be the kiss of death for your band. So I'm not saying, oh, I've got a sniffle, cancel the gig. You've got to make that call for yourself. But these are some of the things that go through my head when I'm dealing with the sickness. Just a short video talking about what I do when I'm not feeling well, but I've got a gig. So it's your health. It's your situation. That's what's going to dictate what happens in your situation. But I want you guys to be safe, be aware, be considerate of others. And if you can play the gig, play the gig. But I want you to play the gig and not knock yourself out doing it. What are some other things that you've done in the past when you've not felt well at gigs? What's your worst case scenario? What's a time you've had to play totally sick as a dog? Drop it in the comments. Let me know. Let's have a chat. Well, that's it for this episode of Al's Drum Hang. I'm Al and I am going to go drink some hot tea and take some decongestant and get some sleep. Wish me luck, guys.